Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm going to do my review of Windows 8 Metro Testbed by Splashtop. So in an earlier video, I showed you how you can use um, Windows 8 on your iPad using, I don't know what I used at the time, like Air Display or Splashtop regular. However, this version of Splashtop is specifically designed for Windows 8 in mind. Uh, basically, it's more geared toward um, you know, like the multitasking gestures and all that stuff that can be found on Windows 8. So, um, this is $50, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, uh, for most people, especially just regular consumers, um, as it's kind of a steep price. However, if you are a developer and want to see, you know, how, you know, Windows 8 will work on a touchscreen, this is actually a really good app for you. So if you're on a Mac, I would highly recommend using Boot Camp, um, which is a free application built into your Mac, um, and just downloading the Windows 8 um, Consumer Preview or Developer Preview. Um, I think either one should work. Um, so that's what I did. And I just went ahead, and once I got Windows 8 open uh, and running, all you have to do is go ahead and open up Internet Explorer, go to splashtop.com slash streamer, go ahead and download the free application, run it, as you can see it's running right now, and uh, you should be good to go. So as you can see, I can use my finger to easily, you know, just navigate Windows 8. Um, also, if you, you know, slide up from the top, you can get, you know, different options. So for instance, we can look at all of our apps. Also, if you swipe in from the left, it'll go ahead and go to the last app that you're in. Uh, you can swipe in from the right, and you get like this universal toolball toolbar. Uh, it'll tell you, you know, how good your Wi-Fi is, what time it is, you know, the day, and also just some different things. So we can just go back to the Start menu slash Windows 8 Metro place. Also, let's say you're in an app like the uh, Windows Store. If you swipe in from the top. It will just bring you back to where you were, well, to the uh, start menu. So down here you have a keyboard button, uh, which is good if you need to input anything. Uh, you can also use like the Windows key, the Control, Alt, um, all those keys, and the function keys right there. Also, if you double tap it, or well, after you're done with the keyboard, uh, you got all these different options. Uh, this is a disconnect, this is like the help button, orientation lock. Um, this will allow you to change uh, whether it's you know sharp or smooth, I just put it on smooth. Um, you can put it in trackpad mode, which I wouldn't really recommend if you're you know just trying to use it as a tablet. Uh, you can also change your displays, which for most people that doesn't really apply. Uh, you can also open up um, these uh, arrow keys if you'd like, which I don't really use at all. Uh, and you can also pull out your keyboard right there. Um, so really, this is a really nice way to go ahead and use Windows 8. As you can see, it can also do a whole lot of things like move different things around, uh, see all of my pages, which I haven't really added a whole lot, uh, at least not yet, and just use Windows 8 like it was meant to be used on a tablet, which is a really nice experience, guys. Although, guys, make sure you have at least a decent Wi-Fi connection or else this thing will be really slow. Um, also, you do want to have, you know, a decent computer at least that will, you know, run Windows 8. I mean, most computers should be fine. Um, but yeah, guys, this is a really good way to run Windows 8 on your tablet. This will also work, um, you know, on the actual release of Windows 8. So you can keep this, you know, as long as you'd like. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you want to see how I put Windows 8 onto my computer, please let me know, and I might make a tutorial, or at least something like that. Um, but that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.